Good morning, friends. I'm out in my new garden today, and as I was weeding, which is not my favorite thing to do, um, I noticed some interesting things. So I wanted to show you what I've noticed and see what you think about it. So I have some beautiful roses, but I looked in here and I went, that is not a rose leaf. That is not. And over here again, some things that look rosy, and then there are things that are not. So I looked at this and I thought, I've got to figure out how to gently, there's a bee, how to gently get this, look at the bee, get this weed to come off of the rose bush without hurting the rose bush, but at the same time, helping it to be healthy by getting the weed away so that it doesn't get choked. And what that reminded me is of in real life, whether you're with your kids, whether you're in, you know, just doing normal stuff, it's easy to get tangled up by the ways of the world. We can turn on the news. We can just listen to what's going on in society, get in an argument with somebody, and we get tangled up in the ways of the world instead of focusing on the beauty that is God and his creation. And so I think what I wanted to remind you of and it reminded me of is let's get these weeds out. It takes some work. It takes some help. I've asked my friends to help me diagnose what the weeds are and what they aren't. Um, I've asked my mother-in-law to help as well. I, but I also have to get out here in my boots and with my lawn bag and with my gloves and make it happen. And so do you. So may, we may not be talking about regular weeds that are physically on our bodies, but we're talking about the weeds that are in the garden. But you know what? There are weeds in our lives, things that are tangling us up and that are keeping us away from God. And so we need to get rid of those things so that we have more room to grow in him. I hope you have a great day.